Masks on for safety. Hey everybody and welcome back to Expedition Engineering. We are still elbows, eyes deep into this hard topic. I have a lot to catch you up on, so this video is going to be pretty short but compact and over the next couple of videos I'm going to catch you up on where we're at right now. Basically, we are building a carbon fiber hardtop, dinghy davit, solar rain catch collection system to basically make our boat as off gridable as possible. And the first step in today's mission is going to be starting on the Dodger hardtop. It's all basically the same construction. It's a foam pour with carbon fiber and epoxy, covering the whole thing, making it super solid, super rigid, and hopefully as light as possible. Okay, top side is done, it is beautiful extra resin just to make sure it was saturated because it was kind of acting a little weird and then squeegee it all the put the plastic on squeegee it out and so now we have to bring it in here flip it onto the form and then do the and so this and then i'll do the underside which is now the top side but whew. this came out so nice i mean i guess we'll see when we take the plastic off but it looks gorgeous that looks good. Carbon also looks good. Right now, Jade is squeegeeing out some of the extra epoxy. Ran out of squeegees, but with this thicker plastic, a popsicle stick works pretty well. That's it. Clean up, and we're out of here for the night. What's this? Yeah, I'm making the radiuses around the outside, which will help keep water flowing off nice and give some shade and provide a lot of rigidity. So curve there, now transitioning around the corner and to the back side. And the lights are out and you stumble in the dark. You kept pushing on, but then you went too far. We had this genius idea. Since there's so much strength already in the part because of the ribs, we'll just build a super thin fascia to cover those ribs, which will help also a little bit with the twisting. This is a bad idea. It is time to glue on this sheet. We're using that nasty black glue. So we're trying to work fast because it stinks and it's gross and it's nasty. So, here we go. Masks on for safety. Let's do this. Time for the official wiggle test to see if adding on this top sheet did anything. That might be a problem. What? Doing something similar to forged carbon, we made up some base plates for the very aft section for the davit section, and then with the help of a friend, we were able to load that all up into his van, which is from the UK, and get everything to the boat to try it all on for a test fit. And it actually fit. The legs lined up, and right now it was just sitting on top, but then we eventually curved it in, so it actually was glassed all together to one solid piece. It's a video. It's even more fun. Today's the day we finally glass the Dodger Arch. But before we can glass that Dodger Arch, we need to get the rear arch off. And I think it's safe to say from now on, this is going to be a lot more difficult to move around. Luckily, we're able to borrow a flatbed truck, but this is going to be the only time we get to use that truck, unfortunately. After much triangulation, string measurements, lining things up, cleaning, acetoning, sanding, cleaning, acetoning, sanding, Triangulation is complete and we got it within an eighth of an inch. We're calling that perfect. Of course, it's so it's close. There. It is so close and it's so much closer than anything else added on this boat yeah. that we're calling that perfect. And yeah, less than it, an it's eighth definitely, of yeah, I mean, it, and there's still a little bit of wiggle and everything and a little bit of give. <laughs> and so it's. You keep almost leaning on the Dodger because yeah. that's what you usually do. Yeah, that's why I'm leaning on this and then I'm, I'm I make sure not to you, touch I've it. I've watched you stop yourself a couple times. Yeah, we can't touch anything because it'll wiggle stuff. So we're going to hurry and get some, some, some we're going to glass some carbon on it. And carbon some glass on it. We're going to carbon some glass on it right now. How's it look? Great. Looks great. I have to lay this down. Okay, so now we need to take off the fabric dodger. The arch we just built is now on the dock. Gotta pull off these solar panels. Here you are, hot dog. 
Time to weigh this and see how heavy it is. I think we, I'll have to look back. I think we were like 88 pounds or something I have like it that. Written down on the white. 83 pounds. That was close. What's it say? <laughs> yeah, 32 and a half. 30, 33? Yep. Yeah. So, a medium sized human? Yeah. 133. We just invented a revolutionary tool that's going to change the world. Oh my God. I guarantee you've never seen this before. Probably nobody has ever had this Nope, idea. we just came up with this on our own. Okay, so it's basically just a contour tracing tool, and this is going to be the very front of the Dodger. We want the Dodger to match the curve of the boat. That is a, an arc that isn't an actual circle or anything that we can just measure, but we want our curves, our windows, the curves of the Dodger to match that exactly, and so we're just tracing it using that contour tool. Have we ever talked about all these names on here? When we had our Patreon meet up a little while back, everybody that came, sign it. So their names are going to be forever in the heart top. Thanks. That'll work. Really good. We are going to attempt to carry the Dodger arch with the one wheels. Voyage update. We're about a third of the way there. We found some shade, so we're taking a break. My feet are cramping. Jade's back is cramping. This is fantastic. I think I have a leaf stuck in my wheel. My one wheel. And I don't know about you, but I feel like we have earned a popsicle. Remember earlier when I said this was a bad idea? Oh. There have been a lot of changes of this project kind of as it has evolved and one of those has been this beam that goes across. We originally were going to have lines running through there and then we thought we would have wires running through there and eventually we decided, you know, we actually pr would prefer this to just be solid. I filled it in with foam and then carboned it and made it super solid so now we have a super solid beam running port starboard. Your ice cream, your day. I have just finished laying this up. So this is the Dodger Arch. I just did the corners, and they look gorgeous. They look amazing. Curves is done. And then we've got to do a little more, you know, finagling to figure out the base plates where it actually attaches to the boat. This next section is just one of the more basic sections. It goes from that beam forward. So it's just part of the hard top. It doesn't have anything tricky about it. Just basically a curved sheet of uh, foam. This actually went really, really well. Came out really nice. And uh, we don't, we actually don't have enough plastic to put plastic on this side, but we are a lot care, more careful with how much epoxy we put on, so we don't need to squeegee it. It might have a tiny bit too much, but we rolled it like crazy to make sure there's no bubbles or anything. So I think it should totally be fine um, if anything is a tiny bit too much epoxy, but not much. Um, so, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good sir. <laughs> we realized last night once we got home that we could have put peel ply on this, yeah. or the blue, or really anything, but we didn't. Is it stuck to the form? Uh, the plastic was just like that. Nice. Looks pretty good. It's not as stiff as I would like. Pretty stiff. Pretty stiff. Yeah, once we tie it. Yeah. Tie it in and put curves on it. Yeah. Now we need to get this thing out of here because we need the full form, full force of the form. Got the very forward, this right here is the very front of the Dodgers. You see the curve there that we matched up. So got this glassed up both sides with uh, carbon and a little bit onto the next piece. It's just, just tabbed on a little bit. We'll end up tabbing it on a lot more to connect the two fully, but it's just there a little bit just so we can keep it all lined up. And then when we flip it over, we can um, you know fill in the gap a little bit and carbon it all together. 
so it's super solid, but that's just enough to kind of keep it in place. And now we are getting ready to put some more carbon on the arch. I sanded it all up earlier, got it all prepped, now we're cleaning it acetone and getting wrapped because again, we want this to just be rock solid. Okay, that's it for the day. We wanted to glass the two together, but we realized it's gonna be really loud. Everyone's working today, but we need to let them cure. If we tried to flip it over, we realized that it's gonna mess it all up and get all voided. So, hey, so be it. I don't wanna have to sand again. Oh uh, yeah, at least not grind off a ton of our work. So we will let this cure and come back maybe later today, probably tomorrow. No, today's good. Later, later today? Maybe. Maybe, we'll see. This looks so huge in here. <laughs> it's crazy that that's gonna taper eventually down to that. What'd you say? That, oh, that, that with actually goes wider first and then gets narrower. Okay. That's crazy. Not much wider. Not wide. Plus the curves. Plus, yeah, six inches on each side, plus, so plus another foot. Get close. Get in there. It's really close. Lots of details now. Yep. Yeah, we were just talking about, okay, now we need to go make sure we get like some conduit and so there's a more plastic and stuff like that because we need to start putting in the conduit to go in there and potentially, no, 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 no there's no going in there um, because it's about time to close things up and make them permanent. Yep. Bye.